<clears throat> this blog has been brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace gives you everything you need to build a handsome website, plus the tools necessary to run your business successfully so your dad doesn't get mad at you and say, uh, go back to school, and he's not proud of you. What's going on guys, uh, vlog fam, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are good out there, right? Yeah? So I know you guys been asking uh, since Trey's easy go out for me to come back and cook some more because I've been cooking online. I'm not really into the whole cooking tutorial thing, like, you know, I'm not trying to steer you guys wrong if you guys, you know what I mean, make some raw chicken or anything like that. I'm not really trying to do that. Well, Malik don't give a fuck, nigga. I ain't no bitch, nigga. I'll fry a chicken or two. Y'all niggas acting like, like I ain't really know how to cook. Talk to me nice. Like, oh, can Malik cook? Of course I can, homie. I ain't scared of no frying pan homie so i pull up to your kitchen get to flipping talk to me nice check it out we got three burgers for y'all we doing one fry one fry barbecue and a couple beef double stack, stack with cheese in the middle honey what's the move bro what's the move bro <laughs> bro what's the next move this, i thought there was editing tricks homie i really gotta do this I see a lot of y'all niggas talking about y'all just cook the chicken. Nah, homie, we washing the chicken. End of the day, I don't know where it's been. Tell me where this chicken been. You can't just walk up in here and and get in my burger, homie. You gotta get rinsed. There it is. I'm gonna take him over to the sink, rinse him up. I'll be back with you. Actually, nah, fuck it. I'm gonna bring y'all with me. Take y'all chicken, man. Give him a quick rinse. I should have vinegar in the crib, but I ain't gonna lie. My uncle came over yesterday, and you know that that man crazy for vinegar, so he finished him up. So I'm just gonna give me crit wit, crit and well, what? Well. Got love for Crips, got love for Bloods, no love for chicken blood though, you feel me? Huh? We can go out in with some smoked paprika, you know my favorite because it, it be a little smoky and shit. Ask me, ask Malik what I like to do on Tuesday night. Huh? Smoking nigga, come on now, get it in there man, fuck a measuring cup nigga, use your eyes man. God gave you eyes, ears, mouth, and paprika, huh? Now don't smoke paprika. A little black pepper for inclusivity, come on now. You should marinate this bitch for about... How long did it take you to go up the street, grab some swishers, and, and roll him up, spark him up? Yeah. Put it in there for three hours, honey. You gonna get some hot sauce to where the cat. I ain't no bitch. I like heat. And I got heat. Hey, check this out. On two occasions, I roll up my sleeve. One is fighting motherfuckers, and two is seasoning some chicken, honey. We seasoning chicken right now, honey. Get in there, bro. Be one with the chicken, make sure that sauce get everywhere, bro. Make sure that seasoning get everywhere, bro. Get that all in there. If you got a cut, ah! homie, we gonna make a slaw for one of the chickens. So what you gonna do is you gonna get yourself a cabbage, honey. And shit, man, I used to hoop back in the day. Why'd you start hooping, bro? Had to roll my sleeves up on the ref. And I told you why I'd do that. <laughs> one is fighting motherfuckers. I'm gonna put him over there. Tread this cabbage up. Watch this. This is the ugly part. We just gonna scoop him out. Nice and thin, homie. These homies are slippery, homie. Be careful. Malik don't slip, though. Do him just like that, you feel me? Boom, what I got? A balabino. Take your time with it. Split him up, break him down. And don't be touching your eyes after you touch with these pinos. Take a couple pickles out. Give me a number, Lamarion. Two by eight. There you go. Chop him up. It's a bad day to be a pickle, homie. That's it. Group him up one more time. Just run that blade through him, homie. They're gonna be all right. They, they already, they already a pickle. Where? I mean, well, how much, how much worse can it get when you already a pickle? You feel me? Throw him in there. Pickle juice. Mix him up a bit. It's a great day to be a spoon, homie. Black pepper. Where my salt at? Shake him up. Now, if you like me, homie, you like doing everything yourself. You know what I mean? So I'm, we gonna make this here ranch real quick. Just grab equal parts of buttermilk, mayo, and sour cream. Although this is 14% sour cream, I'll stay with that nine. I'm gonna those slick though. If that look about right, fuck it, it's right. Unless it's wrong, bro. Now you're gonna wanna chop up the following. Parsley, green onions, fresh thyme, and some dill, homie. Garlic, slide him in there, a little salt. But don't be salty, cause you could get peppered. <laughs> Take a lemon, homie. Damn, this nigga got seeds in here, honey. Bro, Malik can't do the seeds, bro. Man, I'm just gonna juice him out. Look how I do that. And look at all them pesky seeds, man. And don't don't smoke these seeds, trust me. I've been there too. Look at that little seed trying to get in there. I am out. Look at this lemon. Think he, he ain't getting in there. He in there. Did this one have seeds, bro? Then you're gonna see that red start to form. See all the fine herbs in there? It's that easy, honey. 
Hey, you got some trees on me? Kevin, you got a tree on you? But hold on, I'm a leak. You know, I like to keep things spicy, so look what I'm gonna do for you. Where the fuck is it? I can't see with my shades on. But I don't take my shades off, though, because it could get shady. I really can't find it. I'm about to make this spicy mayonnaise. Get you some mayonnaise. I'm about to do two scoops. You don't gotta be like Malik, but I know you wanna be like Malik, honey. I know you saying, ew, ketchup. Yes, ketchup. Get like Malik. Hot sauce, man. Get him in there. Get him familiarated. What that read? That's a reg, bro. I can't even, what? That's a bag of reg? That's Could a you? Regino, bro. Oh, it is a Regino. I'm oh, sorry, reg, bro. A Regino leaves. You need to be having a louder note, bro. I should have yeah, yeah, yeah. had a louder note. Put a little bit of Regino leaves in there. Not too much. Malik don't do the reg like that. Salt and pepper, not too much salt, because you, you know, what I say about the salty black pepper and then again small paprika you know what I do let me chill with the paprika not too much not too much the fridge homie make sure y'all be washing y'all spoons bro Leak and Lamari on a plotter specialized knowledge on astrology to accurately peep game we tapping in with our next caller and already I can feel the bro transmitting extreme Aries vibe bro you uh nah yeah, that's hilarious, because what I actually meant to say in my head, bro, was Pisces, but for some reason um, I had said Aries, bro. I guess it's just a, that's a matter of transmitting the message through uh, my, the spiritual and the physical. You know? I'm not a Pisces either. I don't know what you guys are. Tap in with the bro real quick. We about to make a, a, a seasoned flour mix. A wet, you know what I mean? Something to put that chicken in. We gonna call it a wet batter. Get you some plain flour in there. Well, that's where that went. Don't mind that. Grab you a cup of this here flour right here. Boom, cup of flour right there. And you gonna grab you, I'm gonna do a cup and a half, homie. Equal parts, man, I did a cup, I did what, a cup and a half, so I'm gonna do the same thing with this here cornstarch, homie. Now you gonna season them up, man. Get your little cumin in there, grab your little onion powder, then it's going in just like that, homie. Look, nothing to it. Go ahead, grab you that smoked paprika. So I'm just gonna tap him in. I got this when the bros went to Japan. Toragashi, man, just go ahead, put that in. Garlic salt, seasoning salt. You know my rule about salt. A little more paprika, not the smoke one. Chili powder, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Make sure you get all in there. Preheat your oil. I'll be rocking with that canola and olive, and I'm gonna set this canola and olive to probably about a medium, a medium high heat. You gonna preheat this to 350 and shit, your chicken gonna sizzle like a nizzle. Make sure you smell your seasoning. Make sure that, that it, make sure it be smelling right. Cause if it don't be smelling right, then shit, nigga, maybe it's not right. You feel me? Is that right, bro? Grab you another cup of flour. Smack him up. Make sure, make sure those shells is in there. Damn, nigga, is that a shell? Get you your milk in there, honey. Garlic powder. Spank him up if he ain't want to come out. Chili powder in there. And some paprika. Ain't nothing to it, man. And bro, this is a different approach for me. I usually like just doing it in the in the buttermilk, some hot sauce. And I, I do be throwing some pickle juice in there. But this one, I'm gonna try a little different. I'm trying it with the flour and the egg, homie. So, just like I did, a little pickle juice, not too much. Make sure you whisk that all in there. Now, remember what I said before, we making a wet batter, so this has to be somewhat thick. You wanna make sure everything gets in there, whisked in there, you feel me? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start heating up these chickens, man. I'm gonna get them dipped in there, and then I'm gonna get them dipped in there, and they gonna be dipping in here, you feel me? Go ahead, grab you a piece of chicken, a nice, healthy one, right? Just dip them into this flour right here. Get them nicely coated. He going for a swim. Let him drip off just like that. Feel free to throw in some moves just so you know what I'm saying, speed up the process. Slap down just like that. Bro, when they said tis the season, this is what they were talking about, bro. What's going on, bro? You still tapped in with the bro? These chickens finna go for a swim. Ten minutes, we're gonna get them golden brown. Follow me. And don't be overcrowding your oil. Let that thing do its thing. Kevin, you got trees on you? Yeah, you wanna make sure the chicken's not sticking in there. So after about like two minutes of it, it's gonna go in there, separate the fight. Looking like a pair of German Shepherds. All right, so what you gonna wanna do, I got an 80-20 beef right here, 80%. Uh, all I know is 100, so. Two burgers like that, that just look like two good pieces. But look how golden brown she is. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. This is where the burgers gonna go on. You're gonna have it at a medium high heat, and you're gonna lightly oil your pan. Peter Pan will love this. Look how I freak him. Go ahead, get you some brown sugar. Sweeten this thing up. Last sticking down, make sure he ain't going nowhere. You feel me, honey? That boy ain't going nowhere. 
Red peppers, chili pepper, garlic salt. I shouldn't even be doing this. I'm going stupid right back at it like I never left. Smoked paprika. Now y'all probably gonna look at this and say he crazy. Grab you a ladle, head over to the oil. Bro, hot oil, hot oil. Bro, oil. It? It's gonna cook it, don't worry. Look how that barbecue sauce coming together, bro. Put that burger down right there, and you're gonna smash that burger. And you're gonna flatten him out. But, ah, fuck! They need to calm down, bro. Cheese me up. The cheese is the glue, bro. Ah, nigga. Where's the, 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 uh, uh, the, Garlic butter, bro. It don't get no better. The bro looking like a young Picasso, bro. Now look at this, bro. You gonna take this here burger? Look at that, bro. Look at that, man. Paint him up now. Spicy mayo on the bottom, bro. Paint him up. Stop acting like you don't want it, bro. Tell me how many pickles you want on the bottom of this. I'm He's putting going, four. You going four way, bro. I was gonna put four regardless or not, bro. Tell you that much. Krabby Patty energy to the table. And that's hot. Onions up on top. Throw the mozies on there. Tomato right there. You want lettuce on there? I didn't even ask you. Close him up. Come on, bro. Tell me if you want me to dissect this, homie. Slice him up. Spread the seed. The bro Malik has done it again, bro. This is actually my first time making this, though. This shit could be saucier. We gonna get this on there, bro. This gonna be that Texas hot. Y'all may be at home thinking I'm Richie Spice, man. Y'all may y'all may consider me as one of the Spice Girls. Top and bottom, bro. Lock in with me. Oh, I almost threw up. Y'all at home saying, oh man, maybe I can't do this. This is easy. And today, bro, I can teach you as good as possible, bro. You can't do it like Malik, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Four pickles on the bottom, man. You know what we doing. One, two, three. Tap in with the bro, bro. We got two different burgers right here going. The first one, this is the normal one. This is a little Texas hot joint. Look at him. Oh, bros. Now look, this is where we can freak them because you got the regular slaw that we made, but now you also have... We got the red slaw. Just dress him on top. That's all you need right there, homie. Slide your mate on there. That's shredder, bro. I'm gonna put that on top. Niggas from Rancho Cucamonga are gonna love this. That's right there. Spread him out just like that. It's lovely. We all right. We're gonna close him up. Three burgers, one man, one Malik. I, I ate one. The other one gone because I was hungry, homie. May have to roll my sleeves up on y'all niggas. Spread them cheeks open, bro. Spread them cheeks, bro. Let them know, picks at the bottom. You know what it is, Malik's on top. All right, bro, so I ain't even gonna do the taste test because y'all already know what it is. Y'all trying to follow these easy steps. I ain't leaving shit in the description. Y'all follow along with the video, y'all fall off. That's how we doing it over here. Yum. But this Malik's kitchen, I'm out. That's on, bro. Holy fuck, Holy fuck. Fuck. This is good shit. No, this is good shit. Boom, so look, all right, Squarespace offers a gang of features that we highly enjoy and a bunch of features that you could probably appreciate too. Let's say you're just a normal guy who doesn't have any website building skills. Perfect, because Squarespace makes it easy for anybody to choose any template and go ham on the customizable settings. While you do have the option to run your own ads on your site, Squarespace does not run ads against your content, so you can be sure that at the bottom of your car wash website, there won't be an ad for uh, like chips or something. You can easily set up your G Suite with your domain to enable personalized emails that will help people realize that this is a cool email and you must be legit and you are legit thanks to squarespace squarespace is blessing the people with a free trial to get moving on your brand spanking new website visit squarespace.com for your free trial and once you're ready to launch visit squarespace.com 4ye to save 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or domain <laughs>